Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to install Erlang. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, this is for Windows. If you are using Linux or any other operating system, your instructions will vary a little bit. Uh, I know for a fact that on Ubuntu, you can get away with typing apt git install Erlang, and that will install everything you need in order to at least follow the examples in class. Now for everybody, the way that I'm trying to install today is merely to install the base Erlang installation. There may be additional installation instructions in the uh, assignment file. If they are there, and please read the assignment carefully and look for them, uh, follow those as well as the instructions I give you today. So last time they, there were additional installation instructions in the assignment file. Uh, this time, as of right now, there isn't, but you should, should look anyway. Uh, so first step with installing anything, go to Google, type in Erlang, Erlang programming language, first link, downloads and then you're going to want to jump to either OTP 19.1 Windows 64-bit binary file or whatever is appropriate for your system. I've gone ahead and downloaded this ahead of time. Uh, their mirrors seem to be a little bit slow. If you are a different user they do have information down here on how to install pre-built binary packages. It's pretty straightforward. Once you have it downloaded simply double click it and launch it. Uh, you'll get a pop-up asking you if you have UAC enabled. Pop-up asking you to allow it to run. Click yes. Now in this window the only thing to be aware of is that your checkbox for Microsoft DLLs may or may not be checked. Um, for me it wasn't because I already have them installed. Those are for uh, Visual Studio runtimes. Feel free to check mark that. Click next, next, install. It'll take a minute and install. Okay, once it's installed, you can go ahead and close out of that. The last thing you need to do is adjust the path variable to make sure that your lane is in your path. I have already gone ahead and done this. Your goal is to get to the system properties window. I did this by coming into the windows thing and typing path and then clicking this in the control panel. Uh, some people may be slightly different. If you're wanting Windows XP, for example, you don't have the search bar, shame on you. Uh, you can get into it by right-clicking and clicking System, and then Advanced System Settings, which will open this dialog for you. Go to Advanced, click Environmental Variables. Once again, if you're running an older version of Windows, this will look a little bit different. Uh, I want to adjust the path. Click Edit. And if you're using anything except for Windows 10, as far as I know, it's actually just a line, a very long line. Basically, it is a list of paths delimited by a semicolon. So what you want to do is add the path to Erlang, which for me was C drive program files, Erl 8.1 backslash bin. You can maybe find that by typing Erl.exe and right clicking open file location should take us there. So if you want to find the path, that's an easy way. Add that here. Uh, 
once again, if you're using an older version of Windows, add it to the end of the existing string, put a semicolon, and then paste it. Click OK, 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 and we can test it by opening the command prompt and typing Earl. And you should be good to go to have some fun. Here is Hello World. Good luck.